Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. We're at Publix and somebody's driving a race car. Ooh, look at you. Let's go show daddy. Daddy-o. <laughs> Say boop, beep beep, move out the road, mister. <laughs> okay guys, so we went shopping to get some fall decor for the house. Um, we wanted to get a centerpiece for the table and I found this. It looks so pretty. We have to get some candles for it. Never mind the grapes and the toys that are in the way. But it's really cool because it's got pine cones and pumpkins and gourds and things like Sorry, that. My, and I'm eating grapes in the way. Yeah, you're eating grapes. Well, you're not in the way. You're at the table. Um, so it's all fake. They're all fake leaves and things like that. So we can use it year after year. we got to get candles. Yeah, they have, fake, and, they have fake pumpkins too. Yep, and it needs to be like floofed. <laughs> I just took it out of the box. We need to fluff it up a little bit. So... <laughs> We got that, and then I'll show you guys what else we got. Okay, so I wanted to get a wreath for the front door. The problem is, is our door is really tall, so we might have to do something different for like the hook. Um, I thought about just getting like a 3M hook that you stick to the door because these doors are so tall. But I think it looks okay, so you guys can tell me what you think. We're gonna go outside. Here's the wreath that we got. It also has little pumpkins. There's the little pumpkins. So I'll go outside and I'll close the door so you guys can see it. So see, it's kind of like, <laughs> I guess it's not too high. It's way at the top, but it needs to be lower. But I think we might just leave it that way because I think it looks okay. And then I wanted to get a scarecrow. So I got this scarecrow. I'm going to go inside because the construction gets a little noisy sometimes during the day. But this is the scarecrow that I got. It's really cute, but... The problem with it is, gotta get back in the house. The problem with it is, is it's on like a bamboo stick, so you can stick it into the ground. But like the wind blows and it falls over, and I was trying to stick it into the ground, and it feels like I'm hitting concrete. So I don't know what's underneath our mulch, like if it's concrete under there that like you just can't tell from. So I'm like, okay, Michael's gonna have to help me with that. Cause I'm like trying to like stake it into the ground and he won't stake it into the ground. But he's really cute and I wanted to get, um, I saw one of the neighbors had a scarecrow and I was like, oh, that's so cute. I really want a scarecrow. So I picked him up today. You're all done. Okay. So yep, we got a little bit of fall decor going on and we'll do like Halloween stuff. We'll kind of do a little bit of both and um, that way it's nice and festive. Hi, Ed. Watch me, guys. <laughs> well, the grass has got to be pretty scratchy still. It is. It's pretty pokey. There's a dragonfly, guys. Yeah, oh, that, there he is. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. It's right there. It is like me, guys. It's a big one. <laughs> he loves all the little things. It's like a little jungle to him. Go, 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 Ed! Go, go, go! <laughs> He's chasing the dragonflies. He likes those little plants there too because they're like long and pokey. <laughs> Whoa, he is close to you. <laughs> I'm trying to feed him grass. <laughs> they are coming really close. <laughs> I wish one would come and like bop her on the head. <laughs> Chelsea wants to ask something. Go ahead. Are we going to kill 
catch a dragonflies in our hands. You're trying to catch dragonflies? Oh, ow, you just kicked me. Alex told you how to do it. Do you remember? What? Gotta sit very still. Don't move a muscle. They might land That's on. really hard for Chelsea to do, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> just a lot. Oh my goodness. Oh, woo. buddy, you like the grass? Mm -hmm. Aww. Oh, we do like the grass too. <laughs> there go bird friends. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> Doing piggyback rides or horse, horsey rides. Treat me like a horsey. Put your knees up. There she put her feet up. Whoa, 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 don't let her fall forward. <laughs> I won't fall. Hold on to my uh -huh. shoulders. I won't fall. Hold Famous last shoulders. words. <laughs> Alex, she's gonna slide forward. Don't let her slide forward. <laughs> oh, don't step on the remote. <laughs> It looks like a bullseye. <laughs> She's just. Ouch. Oh, did you get hurt? Oh no. <laughs> Mommy's gonna start putting stuff away in the game room. Try to tidy up. Well, the thing is, is I just kind of. Okay. The thing is, is. Chelsea, we'll see. Hold on a minute. Oh, okay. The thing is, is I just kind of brought everything in here and kind of set it down and left it because it all needs to be put away and stored and organized and such. Wow, nice hat. Alex is doing a good job. <laughs> Me too. You too? What are you? Oh. Alex made a horse. Oh, I was going to say, Alex, this, Chelsea knows how to spell. I made this and I made this. Nice. But I'm not done yet. You're not done yet? Okay. <laughs> okay. Pretty. I found all the colors. Good job. You get a gold star for the day. Yay. <laughs> uh oh, I got some more. Uh, of course you did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's time for the question of the day. Today's question comes from Charles Yang, and the question is. If you can design your own playground, what would you put on it and why? Uh, I don't know, but I would make everything adult size so I can go play on it. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> uh, I, I would want like a slide that swirls around like lots and lots and lots of times. So I guess it would have to be pretty tall. Yeah. And that actually goes. Like you go down those slides and you usually get stuck the first five five feet it just kind of mm -hmm. stops because it's so I'd have to have a good drop like really get your whip in <laughs> like have you have you go up like on the sides you're going so fast yeah so good slide I guess that's the only I don't know what, I don't know what else I don't know because we go to playgrounds I'm like meh you like that spinny thing merry-go-round thing yeah one that's powered <laughs> so you don't have to push it that's yeah. a good answer too Yay. Gosh, I might add that to my playground. I think I'm going to steal that one too. <laughs> okay, so I definitely want a slide, like kind of like Michael said, I guess, like a swirly slide, but at the bottom of it, I want there to be a ball pit so oh. that when you land, you land in the ball I pit. I never got the ball pit thing. It still hurts when you land in it. You can use a little foam cube. Oh, yeah. little, it's hard to dig yourself out of yeah, like, the Yeah, that's foam true. Pit. Foam, like the foam, foam, foam pit. Foam, but foam balls. So a foam oh, ball. Oh, yeah, pit. that would be cool. Then it wouldn't hurt us and you still get the balls. And then have like a little basketball hoop inside so you could shoot hoops. <laughs> and no. then, shoot, I was just thinking something else. I like the merry-go-round idea of not having to push it yourself. Or the one that was at the old park we used to go to, you had to do like the teacups and you had to like twist it yourself. Gosh, I had thought of something else and now I totally forget what it was. I definitely went, ooh, swings that push themselves too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, the fun. We're like yeah. playground and we're talking about like not wanting to have to do the work <laughs> I don't know and then a cool tree house with like a hammock that would be cool I want 
a lot of swings because whenever you go to the park, there's like only two little swings and two baby swings. I want like a lot of swings. Yeah. Not like a lot, but a lot. That's Alex's favorite thing to do, swing on the swings. And I've never seen, well, I haven't seen a playground in a while that had a teeter-totter. I want a teeter-totter. Yeah, I was going to say, is that, what's up with that? You never see teeter-totters anymore. That, and they always broke. That's true. They were always broke. That's true. Because people did stuff to them and they would break. Yeah. I, I we think were it's t- more the danger thing too. When the kids probably got either launched or <laughs> flung <laughs> off of it, or <laughs> fell off backwards or yep. something like that. Mm-hmm. Maybe one with a safety harness. And I'm gonna steal his merry-go-round idea too. Yeah. And I like your ball pit slide too. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we all work together, we can make a pretty awesome playground. Yeah. That we would all enjoy. <laughs> so we want to know from you guys if you could design your own playground, what would you put on it and why? And I want to throw in a trampoline. Oh, yeah. Gotta have a trampoline. A big trampoline. A big one. A big one. So that when you fall, and an you don't get hurt. On call. No, no, no. Oh, have you seen those ones that, like, you can bury them into the ground or whatever? I guess you still fall on the ground. You, you, you would find a way to go, uh, uh, <laughs> on the ground. Injured. <laughs> so tell us down in the comments below.